Hey guys, this is Madden Trying, and we're back with some more Prey. So in the last video, I believe we got to beat up a couple of robots in the new area that we got to, which, thank goodness, because the foyer was getting kind of boring. Um, I believe that we got into the theater room where we watched a guy get killed by a phantom, gave us some neuromods and a gun, so that was pretty nice. We got the recycler charge from the ballistics lab, which is very cool. It's like one of my all-time favorite weapons. And I believe we were mostly just exploring the atrium and looking around the labs and stuff to uh, see what kind of cool stuff we could find. And I think now we're trying to head into Dr. Calvino's lab. I know we got in his office, but we still got to get to his lab. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and start up and just see where it takes us. All right. So, yeah, so we stopped by this recycler just so we could drop everything off. And I think we're still... Yeah, we're doing pretty good on inventory. I might go for one more inventory boost before I go for anything else. Just because, like, it's like I've said in a few other videos, the inventory gets really bad after a while if you don't take care of it. And I would like to be able to hold as much ammo, neuromods, and weapons as I can. But, of course, also be able to have things to uh, dismantle. So we're here. Dr. Calvin. So I think, I know we got leverage one. Yep. So we should be able... Yeah, here. Really? Box flew on it. Let's get, move all this stuff over. And I think this will just take us straight into Dr. Calvino's lab, which will let us uh, kind of walk through everything else. But I want to make sure that we do... Yeah. All right, I got to not be a puss. Oh, this goes straight to the machine shop. Oh, I know exactly where we are. Got a few extra rounds. I think there's a couple phantoms. This may not be the best area to approach this from. So I am going to leave this open just as like kind of an alternate escape route. I thought, I don't know why, but I thought that was going to go straight into Dr. Calvino's laboratory. Yeah, you're still electrified so i hear you up there we're not gonna go up there for the medical droid just yet i think i have enough med kits i have no med no i have six med kits okay i was gonna say do i have no med kits i was like we gotta go make some if we don't let me do that no important log every time you enter the maintenance crawl space through the access panel okay is there anything cool down here oh yeah cool some spare parts. Power terminal. Oh, yeah. I can just shut off the power from here. So we don't have to worry about the uh, little electrified thing. Oh, wow. It's fucking... It's fucking dark. That's all right. We've already explored this area. So, like, I guess it doesn't really matter. Hold on. You don't break, do you? You shouldn't. Let me see. Can I repair you? I need to repair two for that. Let me go ahead and go into here unpowered door so i have to okay so you have to power the door so let me turn power back on so maybe that was just kind of there to teach you what happens with power i'm gonna go ahead i know yeah i can get down through here there might be stuff over there Oh, yeah, so if I had a repair too, I could turn this on and just, like, fuck up these robots. So there's two robots. No, 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 no. No, let's not do that. I just don't know how I'm going to stealth over there. I go this way. I got to be careful because I did see a mimic. And I didn't see where it went. So I don't want to find out that it's actually really close to me. Anything back here? No. So yeah, you pretty much need at least second level of like either repair or hack to really make the most out of it. Leverage one is okay for the most part. But yeah, you don't really start getting crazy until you hit two and three on a lot of these. This is literally where we came from, right over here. Maybe this was a better way to... 
Nope. Oh shit. Nope. Come here. I got you. I got you, homie. Oh shit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh god, you guys hurt. Out of here. Dude, you guys take forever to kill. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got a third. Because of course we have a third. Ooh, oh, is this how I go down? Is this it for me? Come on. Dude, you guys are tougher than the ones in the uh, in the office. I think I just ran into the electric box that was behind me. Okay, so let's try that again. I'm going to shut off the power. No, I accidentally turned it back on. Turn off the power. And then I can go this way. Monkeys. I'm gonna go back under there and get the stuff, but I'm just not super used to this gun, so get, get you. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Come on, come on, come on! Get out of here. There is a third one somewhere. I'm gonna try not to trigger him. Okay, you're done. I missed. You're done. And if you guys are wondering, the uh, shooting in this game is not quite as intuitive as you would think it is. It's just a little janked. So I can't just like snap around and start shooting things. You're still alive. So that's why I didn't see you because you're like over here lying on the floor. You're done. And we'll go under here and just get the stuff that we had earlier. Um, I don't think there was anything over here. Yeah, it was just all over here. All right, and that should be it for these guys. Let's see what we got here. Not a whole lot, but there is a computer terminal. So I can move the cargo, so let's do that. To Fabrication Bay. So let's move you, because I know I need to get up there. Ah, cool. Mimics. A lot of mimics. Bye. No, 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 don't want to run out of stamina. Don't want to run out of stamina. Let's take these. I know there was a third. Peter Coleman. Oh, Neuromod. Cool. How many Neuromods do I have right now? I have one. And I need four for suit modification. I would need more for leverage, too, as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to heal. Again, it was kind of a smart move for me to take the healing ability early. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside first. Last thing, you don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. Alright. Because I think, yeah, because we're here to get the uh, propulsion system. That was, like, the whole reason for coming over here. I will tell you guys, I hate... If I remember correctly, I hate spacewalking in this game. Because it makes me kind of ill. And I did know that there was going to be an engineer drone in here. Hence why I didn't fix my suit. Because I knew I'd be able to just talk to this guy. Gracias. And now my suit is fully fixed. These. Oh. Thank you. Really, no free drinks this time. A bunch of employers. 
I actually happen to know that there's a lot of radiation over there. Can I just like... No. And I'm out of ammo again. Oh shit. Nope. Mm -mm. Be gone. All right. And then, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff back here. Is that a neuromod? That is a neuromod. Thank you. You, I'm going to need my glue gun for. And then I think I need leverage to move these ones. I need leverage three to move these. That's not fun. Now what's going on here? Repair three to fix the moon door. Oh yeah, because I think that actually goes... It does something down here. So I'm not going to go in there just yet. Let's see what we have here. Storage room. Oh, I have the code for it. So, three, seven, four, nine. Oosh. Nope. Get you before you disappear. Come on. Yes. Take all that. More spare parts. Maybe I should get repair. The thing is, oh, neuromods. The thing is, I really should take some kind of combat stuff. At some point. Uh, Clive, we need to up the reload speed on the glue gun. The actuators are slow on this thing. Mary. I mean, if I use a weapon upgrade. Honestly, why don't I? How many weapon upgrades do I have? I've got eight. Can I upgrade you? Can I upgrade the wrench? No, you cannot upgrade the wrench. How much would it take? So is it just is it just one upgrade kit per? And what about you? Can I upgrade you? I can upgrade you. Power, range, shots, and recharge. Increases recharge rate and decreases drain rate. So let's upgrade you. Give you a better recharge rate. I think I can, yeah, I can upgrade the glue gun, which will give me a faster incapacitation rate. But I don't really use the glue gun that much, so we'll go with the shotgun. And we'll increase its reload speed. And then for the pistol, firepower, accuracy. Eh, I'll increase its magazine size, because why not? I'll say we've got about two left. So let's do... Yeah, let's just, let's just kind of upgrade everything. So we'll take the incapacitation rate. And... Handling. And we'll kind of just start upgrading everything. I mean, there's no reason to not upgrade everything right now. I'll get more weapon upgrade components. And then back here, I think there's... Radiation. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's a lot of radiation. Don't I have anti-rad pills? I have one. So let me see here. My inventory... Can I check my status? Yes, here it is. So no active status. So I just removed all the radiation. Let's... It looks like there's something up there, so let's get the glue gun out. I'm not going over there. And I'll do that. Yeah, it was easier doing that than I thought it would be. Oh. Recycler charge. Cool. And then I need this to get over there. Actually, no, I don't. I can just I can just get up here. Um, blue gun. There 
And we just do it like that. Hey, cool. A recycler and a fabricator. So what do we have here? So that's nothing. Take these. Take you. Take you. Boom. Some files. Ooh, a bunch of materials. Yes, sir. I will take all of those. Zero G propulsion. Fabricate the Artax propulsion system. Cool. Transdar uniform guide. Your Transdar uniform has been designed for your safety, comfort, and to facilitate your work. The uniform must be worn at all times while on board the station. While every effort has been made to make Talos a comfortable and safe place to work, there is always a chance of an accident or hazard. Uh, departmental assi uh, assignments can be determined by uniform style and color. Brown and black is corporate and administrative. Green and white is science and technology. Orange is engineering and maintenance. Blue and black, security. So what's red? Because we're red and black. Check our emails. Uh, bolt effectiveness. Don't sweat it. When the cat's cat's away all uh, and all that, I have a few ideas. I'll draw something up and send it to you, Mary. Hey, Clive. Sorry for the bolts all over the machine shop. It's really the only place I can try out the new gun. I think it's coming along rather nicely. Still want to help? I've, al I've already recruited Mary. Is this for the uh, Huntress Cospel? Um, Psychotronic Satellite. The satellite presently in the repair bay of the machine shop is scheduled to be decommissioned. However, however, Dr. Kelstrup has requested that we remove the psychotronic transistor elements and install them in the new satellite. I don't know what they do, so don't bother asking. Just get done ASAP. So that's the little satellite that's down there. I think at one point in one of my playthroughs, I did open that, but I don't like remember hardly anything about it. And what do we have here? Emails. Warning radiation. Uh, Mary, as I'm sure you've noticed, there's been an issue with one of the tanks near the supply closet, and it's now causing a bit of radiation. Please stay clear and spread the word until we can get what I need to clean this up. Yeah, yeah, a bit of radiation. Like, it didn't just almost kill me. But, uh, Assassin League? Hey, Mary. Gr Gary Snow here. I work in crew services. I heard some scuttlebutt about a new dark gun you guys worked up. Possibly something about an assassin-style game in the Arbitur Arbitum... Aboratum and crew quarters. I want in the Hunter's Crossbolt. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So this just gives me the fabrication plans for the Hunter's Crossbolt. And this one's probably for the bolts. Yeah, bolt caster ammunition. Cool. So we need to fabricate, but let me go ahead and just, like, dump all my stuff real fast. So we'll auto sort. And I have three neuro mods. Uh, transfer you. Is that all I got? 9mm disruptor batteries. Q beam ammo. Yeah, it's looking about it. Yeah, yeah. Take all that. And then. There are actually a few things we probably should make. So, how much stuff do I have? I actually have a lot of stuff. Place crafting ingredients in slots. Yeah, so it actually goes down here, and you can just pick it up. So we'll, we'll go ahead and make some ammo real fast. I need to pick up the item first. Really, for every one of these? So that's quite a few more shots. We got about 60 shots now. Uh, do one more. Bring us up to nine. It brings us up to uh, 90 shots. I guess not 90, but 82 shots. Well, I guess it's whatever's in the gun. So, 99 shots. Um, how much flexifoam darts do I have? 25. I have enough. Uh, can I make shotgun rounds? Faster. Artax. I cannot. How much... How many make do I have? I have four. Let's go ahead and just bring that up to five. So, we have a nice little stockpile of them. And grab the... Uh, well... I need anti-rad too, so. And luckily they're super cheap to make. So I'll grab like like three of these. I think that should be enough. And we'll get the R Tax Repulsion System. Hold while falling to glide or slow your ascent. Okay, so we need to get up here. Can I get over there from here? Yes. Whoa. 
Take these EMP charges. And hi, Franklin. I'll be taking these from you. Very cool. So we have the propulsion system now. And anything up here? Oh, there's totally something up here. Oh, yeah. Take all that. And I'm just looking around a little bit. I just want to see if there's anything... Any areas. There's not. Hey, what's up? Can you repair my suit a little bit? Thank you. Okay, now we're going to go into space. And like I said, I kind of remember what space is like. And I remember not being the biggest fan because it just made me kind of like motion sick. One of five airlocks opened. Nice. Uh, airlocks. Talos 1 has multiple airlocks, which leads to the exterior of the space station. I, I guess that's supposed to help you, like, kind of, like, fast travel everywhere, but, like, I don't use it that much because, again, I'm not a huge fan of space. Let's go ahead and check it out. Alright. Microgravity. Your Transar suit is equipped with a propulsion system to navigate the harsh environment of space. To navigate in zero-g, use L to thrust, L3 to boost thrust, uh, L1 plus R1 to break, X2 ascend, and O to descend, and L1 and R1 to roll. Cool. And I think if I'm correct, there's actually floating bodies out here too. Go ahead and boost this. For the record, if you go into the red and you hit something, it will hurt you. If you're wondering what happens if you go out of uh, bounds, you just you just die from radiation. Oh, human corpse. Let's see what's going on over here. Gonna line that up a little bit. Ooh, break. What's up, buddy? You're not looking too good. I'll take these from you. Another human corpse over there. Wondering how many there are. The Atrium Airlock. Well, I'd have to unlock that from the inside. Another human corpse down here. I actually think that's where we're supposed to go. Psychotronics airlock. Oh, cool. You can see the moon over there. All right. Let's go down here. Because I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go. Is that an operator? Oh, it's an engineering operator. It's just hanging out there. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Take that from you. I wonder, can I patch these? I don't know what this would do for me, but... Oh, yeah, it's like there's... I'm actually doing a thing here. That might be for the area with uh, that's losing oxygen. Hole breach. Airlock. So there's a whole breach power plant there. Not gonna worry too much about that just yet. Shuttle bay. I mean, corpse. Go ahead and just get out of here real quick so I can kind of see where I'm at. I mean, corpse found. Oh, his laboratory's over there. Okay. I don't think there are any enemies out here. But you just... You never know. Grab you... Can I do anything with you? No, because it's not blown out. Hey, it's some Psy Hippo. It's over here. I would need Hacking 3. Okay. How much would I need for Hacking 3 right now? 
Looks like... We need... Yeah, good amount. But actually, I'm going to go ahead and take this one just so that we get higher uh, material yield. So that's something that could help us a lot in the early game. Where are you? I can't fix you. Did you go over here? EMP. I have no clue what just made that noise. Beams and Waves Lab. Q-beam testing. Well, I can't see anything in there. Hey, Dr. Calvino, what's up? Bruh. Not surprising. Well done. Thank you, but you just interrupted my log. So now I have to go and get that again. This is Dr. Here we go. I'm feeling ill. I put myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Transcribe. Uh, this is um, this is Doctor Calvino. Ah, well, I suppose you've turned in, or you're ignoring me. Uh, I just want to. Well, I, I will be uh, late for my shift tomorrow, but um, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro lens array. You see, the, the old one is it's garbage. Uh, uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clyde is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. <laughs> You're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, uh, I'm sending it to you anyway. All right, Dr. Calvino, I see, what, I see what you're up to here. At least he didn't get fucking got by a mimic or something. But it may have just been, like, a, some kind of a science experiment gone wrong. At least that's what it's kind of looking like. But we got the machine shop code. Let's go to the machine shop. Yeah, open up for me. Ooh, I'm, go I'm going a little too fast there. But now we can finally get into his workshop. Oh, wait. There we go. Although, uh, I think we have to go through the... Because I shot the power here, right? Yes. Oh, that's cool, though. You can force doors open with leverage three. And I think I got everything back here. Was this like a lathe or something? And we're good on our suit. I might stop by the medical drone. I am, however, going to turn back on the lights because this shit is fucking spooky dookie. Something just saw me. All right, let's go up to the medical droid. Ooh, that's a whole ass phantom right there. I do know we got some uh, shotgun rounds. Hi, buddy. Hello. Nope. Gone. Oh, you're not dead. 
Yeah, give me all that shit. Oh, what's this? No wave transmitter. That's new. No wave transmitter. Developed in psychotronics, the no wave transmitter emits a burst signal which suppresses the psionic abilities of anyone caught in the blast for a short period of time. It can be thrown or affixed to stationary objects. Oh, so it can like disrupt their powers. That's pretty cool. Also, I did learn that um, once you start unlocking psionic powers, uh, if you get any more than one, the uh, turrets will start trying to murder you. So it's not just the uh, organic material. Thank you. Actually, I can just drop off this. I've got the jetpack. What's up, buddy? You're not going to betray me, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go ahead and get into Dr. Calvino's lab here. Let me in! Damn- Ooh, that fucking scared me. Oh, what's back here? Hey, medkit. I'll take that. There we go. Anything back here? Anything under you? No. Looking glass console. Real quick, let's me let me look around a little bit here. Dr. Caviano's tumbler. Oh yeah, I remember this is actually I actually need this for something. You guys will see in a minute. I'm not gonna mess with it just yet. Don't wanna ruin the surprise. Anything else around here? Give me lab stuff. Any materials so I can make more cool things. Just break something. Oh my god. I'm trying not to break all the looking glass things so you guys can actually see what the hell's going on. It's up here. I just jump into this now. Um, engineering control systems. Uh, there's a metaphor here, you know. Typically, the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output, the reference signal. The difference between the actual and the desired outputs. The error signal is applied as feedback to the input of the system to bring the actual output closer to the reference. Good control systems and good engineers learned from the past. I really hate that the flashlight has such limited power. I'll let it recharge. So we got an email. It's custom travel mug. Okay, I'll get I'll get right on that. Um, Mary, this is Dr. Calvino. I require you to fabricate a travel mug that weighs exactly 170 grams. Empty, of course. My feeble hands need a lightweight container for my coffee. I'll be sure to put in a good word to Dr. Thornstein for your assistance. Scale modification. Uh, sure. Clyde, this is Dr. Calvino. I need you to modify a scale so when it reads 170 grams, it sends an on slash off signal. Please let me know when it's ready. Travel glass, technical specs. Or looking glass, technical specs. Um, Lorenzo, I've had a look at the specs you sent me. I see a few problems. I didn't realize you'd offloaded so much of the process and storage. Of the processing and storage. What if someone took a wrench to the main server? The whole system goes down. Anyway, come by when you get a chance and we'll go over details. I have a few suggestions if you are amenable. All right, let's go ahead and uh, activate this real quick. No power. Can I activate power here? Yes. Prototype looking glass, okay. Video playback, network. Okay, so video playback. Host cannot connect. Test phase, host cannot connect. Network. I don't remember which one of these does what, but we'll see. Server online. Oh, there we go. Second to the last one. Yeah, yeah, I'll take a look. Diagnose network servers. Diagnose LG screens. 
All screens intact. Yeah, okay. Test phase one. It's running? Light field capture looks a little hot. Where's the photometer? The handheld. D did you take it? No. Ah, yesterday we had two. Now I can't find one. We've only ever had one. Nonsense. I guess you forgot. And then... S2. You're leaving? Uh, I thought we were done. No, just... just turn it off then. I feel like you're upset with me. No, I, uh... I suppose it's... it's late after all. Uh, go. Go. Uh, sleep. What about you? What about me? Yeah, don't concern yourself. I'll finish. Right. I guess I'll see you later then. Yeah, you guess. What? You're always saying, I guess. That worked, I guess. I'll see you later, I guess. You're a scientist. Stop guessing. No! Or be quiet. Yeah, that's all. And you're a Good dick. night, Dr. Calvino. Yarumpi <sighs> scuttle. Chirumpi scuttle. All right, do the thing. It's kind of cool just being able to, like, see everything. Like how it was when everything wasn't fucked up. Oh, that glass over there is so broken. I don't know why. Yep. That's what we need his uh, thermos for. Then let's me do that. Taking these and Dr. Lorenzo Calvino's cabin. So, okay, so how many Normods do I have now? I have two. Did I get anything particularly useful? Metabolic boost doubles the both the duration of well fed bonus and the health regained by consuming food. I don't really use food that much. Combat focus. I actually know that one. That one's actually a pretty decent ability. Conditioning. Increase your health to 115. Your stamina 105. Run, sneak, and climb, and sprint 5% faster. Yeah, why not? Get kind of like a early, like, ability, like, uh, health booster. Position 2. Metabolic. Mm. Yeah, not really anything else to really get right now. Did, I think I missed some stuff over here, though. Yeah, here we go. Take some glue. So, now we have to get back to my office. Hello. Are you here for an appointment? No, sir. I'm feeling very good right now. But now we can actually... Get back into my office. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. Let me in. Oh, my God. Ooh. Please don't. Please don't. I don't think I have any shotgun rounds left. I've got one. Just walk in here. Yes, you did. And that is why you need to be careful. Hey, hey, buddy. Whoa. Give me the blue gun. No, holy shit. You fucking hurt, dude. Give me this. Oh, give me that. Such a little asshole. You know that? Turret, get him. Where'd he go? Hello. Nice to see you. Yeah, I see you too. Anyway, get out of here. 
I don't know what he was doing over here. Hey, another weapon upgrade kit. Glad I uh, chased you down. All right, anyone else? Anyone else want to try me? I have a gun. Okay. I think we're good. And actually, you know what? Where are my narrow mods? Give me, give me the stealth improvement. Damn it. I need two for stealth. Okay, so it looks like enemies are coming in. Nowhere is safe anymore. Let's just go ahead and just dump everything while we're here. That's for junk. And drop you. Uh, any more food? I got two shotgun shells, which is nice. That's it for my food and stuff. Yeah. That's what it's looking like. Real quick, let me go ahead and reload the shotgun. Just in case I need these two shots. Cycle. Oh man, we put a lot of things in there. What the fuck happened here? I think I hear enemies. Ooh. You look like you're gonna fucking hurt. Ooh. Go ahead and snap your ankles real fast here. Gotcha! Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the glue gun. Oh no, what the hell is this ability? Oh my god, oh wow. I didn't think you could do that. No, oh, please, please, please don't. Oh, God. So that guy can duplicate himself. That was cool, but also holy shit. Hey, you guys are like way more dangerous now. Oh, whoa. Uh, Die, you little bitch. Morning, okay, give me the glue gun again. All personnel should report to their workstations for the day. If you expect to be okay. absent for any reason, get some stamina. please inform your immediate supervisor. Got him. He knocked over my turret. Come here. Come here, buddy. Are you broken? Nah, you still got some fight in you. Okay, it looks like I'm actually going to need the glue gun a lot more than I was using it. Let's go ahead and take off the stun gun and assign you to my left slot. And I would really like to be able to craft some shotgun rounds. Oh, shit. Hey, it's another one of you guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that today. Out of here. Wow, they're really trying to kill me now. I'll clear this up. Yeah, yeah, let's just slowly clear that up. Can't trust anything nowadays. Oh, it actually cleared up uh, some of my looking glass. That's nice. Still can't do anything with this operator thing. This item's in bin. Just dump that for now. I don't want to be carrying around too much of this material. And I might as well heal up while I'm here. 
and then just fabricate another one. I would like to stay at five as often as I can, just in case. Utilities and resume. Oh, it like full on fixes it. That's awesome. You're not going to like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos One. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. That's horrible. Including you. Oh, I know shit. how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. Makes sense. So it's up to you now. Good luck. Well, Although thank you, you wouldn't me. like it. Yeah. You're right. I don't like it. Video playback ended. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, January. How's it going? Hello, Morgan. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Talos 1, but none of them are like me. Chad. I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. Second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos 1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key. But you hit a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. Damn, I'm smart. That's where you need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. Yeah, isn't the lift broken? Oh, hey, thank you. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to fix the lift from here. There's another route through the psychotronics lab. Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Please be careful. Yeah, you got it. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. One neuromod. The security station in the lobby might have weapons. I've already been to the security station, though, so... Every neuromod takes a snapshot of your brain and models what it would look like if you learned something new. Then it makes those changes. Billions of connections remapped in a matter of minutes. All made possible by our friends from outer space. The the Typhon, you mean. Anyway. Can I kill you? Yes, I can. Take your spare parts. I mean, it's free spare parts, right? And if you're wondering, yes, I'm aware you don't get anything else from him. I didn't just blow him up thinking that, uh... I kind of fucked myself. I, I knew that that would happen. Um, let's take Stealth 1. Make it a little bit harder for the Typhon to see me when I'm stealthing around. What's next? Two Psychotronics. The enemy's back in here. No, but there's a medical droid. Hi, come here, help me. Give me, give me health. Thank you. Secure pharmaceutical tech. Is there any way for me to get in here through like a vent? No, I guess not. There must be some other way for me to open it. I don't like this one. And then I still can't get into the staff lounge. And real quick, I want to see if I have uh, the access code for the crew quarters. Oh, actually, real fast, let me see if I can even use the... Can I use you? 
malfunction. Okay. Oof. No, 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 no. Oh, I missed so many shots. No, 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 no. Reload. Oh, I hit my fucking microphone. No, 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 no. All right, cool. Sorry, I like skimmed my microphone there. Cause my nose was really itchy, and I need to I need to scratch it. But let me see real quick. I want to see if I have access to the crew cabin cabins. Just because I'm curious. Also, I noticed we did get some uh, weapon upgrades, so I am gonna go ahead because kind of our pistol is the main weapon that we're really using right now. I am gonna go ahead and just give it an upgrade. Uh, let me see back here real quick. Yep. Totally called that. Something up here. Uh-oh, please don't. Please. Phantom. Anime mech. Dude, there's more, there's all kinds of shit around here. Oh my goodness. So we'll take that. Okay, let me see here. I think this one's a neuromod division. Volunteer testing. I need hacking to get into that one. Unless... Nope, I need leverage two for that. Oh, shit! It just hit me. Damn, you guys really don't like me today. Oh, I can't squeeze through there. So I think I require hacking to even get into these. Oh, no, I can actually get into volunteer quarters. All right, so that one's volunteer quarters. What's this one? Volunteer testing. Maybe there's a way for me to open that. Then what's over there? Fabrication. I would need hacking four for fabrication. Let's see what's in here real quick. I hate everything about what's going on in here. But lucky for me, we are just about out of time. So anyway, guys, remember that uh, if you like my content, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.